Imagine if Jeff Bezos himself told you exactly what product to sell on Amazon. Would you do it? Of course. Unfortunately, you're probably never gonna get that call. But the good news is you can steal those products from right under his feet. Let me show you how. What's up Empire Builders, JT Franco here. I hope you're having a great day, but if you're not, it's about to get a whole lot better because this very product research method could be the one that finds you your first or your next highly profitable Amazon FBA product. But I must warn you, this is very much unconventional. It's going against all conventional wisdom and flipping it on its head. By every definition, this is crazy. It's one of those ideas, in fact, that is it's just so crazy. But it just might work. What? What we're about to do is dangerous. It's against the grain. We're about to sneak into the king's castle and steal his treasures while he sleeps. So let's get ready for war. All right, we're good to go. So have you heard of Amazon Basics? Of course you have, right? If you don't know, this Amazon Basics is Amazon's own, pretty much their own private label brand. So they find, they do exactly what we do, right? As FBA sellers, they're finding hot products and they're slapping their own logo on it and selling it on Amazon. Now the difference between what Amazon does and what we do is that they have all of their own data, of course. Right, so they get to literally sit at the top of the mountain, look down at everyone that's coming up, and whoever's coming up the mountain fast, they just boom, they take their spot. And it's, it's genius, they have all the hard data. As opposed to what we're doing, we're going off estimates, right? Off of Jungle Scout or viral launch numbers uh, and, and BSR history. And we're trying to see the estimates of the Amazon data, but Amazon has it all in-house. So Jeff Bezos and his team are looking down at all of us, seeing what we're doing, and whoever rises to the top, they take our idea and they run with it. Now, most sellers would say that's a danger zone. Don't compete against Amazon, right? If you see an Amazon Basics product, run far away because you're competing against the head honcho. However, Amazon Basics is a lot like a lot of the other you know, in-house brands. Like if you go to Walmart, they have great value, right? And the thing about Amazon Basics and the thing about great value is that they are literally trying to sell the cheapest product because they can, right? They can see what we're doing and they can always beat our margins every single day, no matter what. So they're gonna come down and be the cheapest. Now the thing about that is that even though I go to Walmart and, I, and, and they have great value toilet paper, I'm still gonna walk out with Charmin because I want quality. And that's the thing that people don't realize about Amazon Basics. It's that when Amazon launches a product, unlike us, when we put our blood, sweat, and tears into a product and it's, we're passionate about it, Amazon doesn't do that. They do not care. Whether a product makes a million, two million, if a product on Amazon Basics is making $15 million a month, it's still a tiny, tiny drop in the bucket for the Amazon machine. So there is no care put into their listings. They're not gonna optimize their listings. They're not gonna have the best pictures, have lifestyle photos, have the best sales, have the best copy, have the best bullet points. You know what I mean? They're not gonna go all in. They're just basing it off the numbers. They have a super algorithm and they're basing it off the numbers. Now there's two reasons why that's good. Number one, the super algorithm is a super goddamn algorithm, right? So we don't have to do the dirty work, okay? It's doing it all for you and they have, like if Amazon Basics launches a product, you know that they launched it for a reason. They see that that market is hot or they see that that market is upcoming and it needs a hole to be filled. Number two reason that's great is because again, it's a robot. So there's no love and care put into it. So if we can sneak in there, use up all the data that they've already gifted to us on our door and create a better listing, create a better product, and be the Charmin on the shelf when they are the great value, the low, you know, the low quality, the low price product, we can come in there and make a killing. And Amazon did the product research for us. So thank you, Jeff Bezos. Now let's get into it. All right, got the hat off. So how do we do this? What we're gonna do is when we hop into Amazon, you're just gonna go Amazon Basics, right? And what's gonna happen is you're gonna end up on the Amazon Basics page, right? So they got this entire catalog of products, which of course is ripe for the picking. Now, before we get into this, actually, I just wanna let you know that this is just one of the many product research methods that you can use to find profitable products. If you want more product research methods to soak it all in, then go ahead and download my product discovery guide in the first link in the description. Uh, I usually sell that for $30, but right now I'm giving away for free along with two of my other top ebooks. First link in the description, all three books are yours for free. Now what you want to do when we get into this Amazon Basics page uh, is just go ahead and pick a category. So let's go with sports and fitness, right? Now, 
The thing is, Amazon Basics does kill it with a lot of products. So you definitely don't want to uh, go ahead and test the waters there. So how do you find out which products um, you might want to launch? What you want to do, like I said, they're not putting any love into these products. So a lot of these products that they launch will have bad reviews. And that's the ones you want to be looking for. So go into the sort here and sort by average customer review. And then you're going to go to the very, very last page and get the ones with the worst reviews. This means, um, if they have bad reviews, it means that for some reason, Amazon figured out that this would be a good product to sell, but they just did not execute on the product. So they're like, hey everyone, sell this product because we can't do it properly. That's pretty much what they're saying. So go ahead, this one has literally three reviews and it's two and a half stars. Um, actually, go ahead and pull up a new tab. All right, so once you got your second tab open, just uh, search the name. So portable soccer goal. Let's just call it portable soccer goal and see what happens. So portable soccer goal and you're going to need um, either Jungle Scout or Viral Launch. I prefer Viral Launch. Um, so I'll pull the Viral Launch drop down but since I know a lot of you also use Jungle Scout, I'll pull the Jungle Scout drop down as well uh, because I want to accommodate all of you guys so that you can see what you're doing and you have a better idea based on whatever tools you use. All right, so the first thing you'll notice when you pull the drop down is you'll see the exact search volume. So it only has 585 exact searches for this keyword portable soccer goal, which tells me that it's probably not the main keyword because it's only 500 people searching for that a month. So I'm gonna put that into the uh, Violence keyword research tool. And what's gonna do is gonna show me the, um, the real keyword that has the most uh, searches. So soccer goal for backyard. So 11,000 uh, exact searches for that. That's pretty, on, that's, that's on the low side. Uh, but let's go ahead and, and grab that because that's gonna be the main keyword for this product. So we're gonna search that and I'm gonna take this off because it's getting really freaking hot. All right, so here's the Jungle Scout look. Uh, as you can see, it is super competitive. So you do not want to get into here. Uh, yeah, the reviews uh, are crazy. So the barrier to entry here is going to be pretty insane. You can see it says high demand, high competition. Um, yeah, another thing about the product is that it seems pretty huge. Uh, so the packing it up and everything might be a little tough. And that might be the Amazon basic advantage here is that they can easily uh, ship and store these giant heavy items. So let's keep on going through here. Um, and let's see what we got. So let's go back one page. So the reviews here don't aren't that low. I've seen some that are pretty low. Um, so what I'll do is just look for something that looks interesting. So like this, Amazon Basics rubber horseshoe set. Right? Like, who would think of that? So let's go look up rubber horseshoe horseshoe set. So the number one keyword is horseshoes. Um, but that, again, it's only three thousand three hundred. Uh, wouldn't be too excited. All right. So again, not very exciting. Uh, not much going on here. They're, everyone's doing like around five sales a day, so I probably would stay away from this. Um, so let's actually get out of sports and let's try a different uh, Amazon Basics area. All right, we're back on the first page, so now we just gotta pick uh, what we wanna attack next. So let's go with tools and home improvement. And same thing, search by uh, customer reviews and go to the last page first. The reviews here, you'll see if it goes to the very bottom, they're probably pretty bad or they don't have any reviews. Like this, that's like really bad reviews, like two stars, right? So you can see exactly what I mean when I say they just said probably, hey, wall-mounted suction shower cup thing, whatever that is, is doing great. Let's launch it, and they made a really crappy product. Now I wouldn't go click into this because only eight dollars, so I'm assuming that's what the you know the range is, eight to twelve bucks. So you want definitely want to get something a little more. All right, let's try the first one here. Let's go with kitchen, um, and let's go to review. Oh, let's actually go to the most broadest, the broadest department possible, home and kitchen. And let them search with the reviews so that way we get more um, more products on the page. All right, we're on the last page and you can see there's overlap with that that, that uh, mirror thing that we saw. Uh, so let's go to page 14. Again, this is real life product research, guys. This is what it's going to look like. Um, you're really going through it. You're going through the grind and you're just trying to pick stuff out, right? Um, so let's go with two reviews total. Amazon Basics um, document frames. So Virelaunch says that Diploma Frame is what we're going to be needing to look for. So let's go ahead and change that search to Diploma Frame. And there you go. We got a 7 opportunity score with Jungle Scout. And let's go check out what the numbers look like. So the reviews. As you come down, the revenue. So you remember it only had 12,000 searches per month. So it's kind of mid-range, right? So let's look at these numbers. We got 50 reviews, 10,000, right? And we got this guy who's killing it, obviously. 21 reviews, 17,000. 45 reviews, 9,000. And it comes down to how deep is this market? Where can we really play in here? 50 reviews, 10,000. So let's sort by reviews and let's really get a good idea of this. All right, so as you can see, the top guys only have up to like 177. So from like 150 and down, which is a doable mark, you got 31,000, 31,000, right? 3,011, 10, 10, 9, 
13, consistency throughout the 50 range. Um, and as we go down deeper, 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 still the same thing. We got, let's see the lowest we got here. So from eight reviews, 26, 19 reviews, seven, 20 reviews, eight, 21 reviews, 17,000. So this is kind of one of those products where it's not super, super high upside. It's not super exciting, but it looks like a pretty easy product to get into. So if you're on a lower budget, and I guarantee you that this product, which is like, how much does it sell for? 28 bucks. Well, average price was right there on Jungle Scout. So my Jungle Scout's not opening anymore. So that's kind of why I prefer Viral Launch. Uh, so let's go back to Viral Launch here uh, and let's see what they say about the pricing. All right, so Viral Launch has the same kind of thing, four and a half stars, and exactly what I thought, the margins on this, because it's a picture frame essentially, are crazy high. So let's see, where's the unit margin? So for a $15 product, you got like an $8 margin. This is of course estimates, but look at the margins here, 15 bucks, 25 bucks. Um, if we go to the cost calculator, you're looking at the average, so this is showing the average. So the average sale price is $33. The average profit per unit is $19.23. So this right here is the magic, right? Violent is these kind of cool little, um, really rough estimate, but it's saying if you order 258 units, uh, your total upfront cost will be about 1,000 bucks and your total monthly profit is about $2,600 every single month. Now, that's the thing that I wanna talk about is that a lot of sellers are looking for that huge home run product that's gonna be making them you know, $40,000, $50,000, $60,000 every single month. But when you come in here and hit these products that all the time are making $2,000 a month, $2,000 a month, and you just add to that portfolio, right? So you launch this product, it only costs you 1,000 bucks to launch. And you launch another product for 1,000 bucks, another product for 1,000 bucks, that's 3,000 bucks in, and you're making $9,000 profit every single month by just hitting, not, not going for the home runs, but going for those singles or those doubles the ones that are kind of under the radar, things that are easy, entry, barrier to entry, right? Because you, the thing you don't, they don't tell you about launching a product that might make you $50,000 a month that has that super high upside is that it also has a super high cost to enter that market. So uh, what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you exactly what to do next because usually product research videos end at this. So I'm gonna show you, okay, you found this product, you wanna you know, consider it, I would go to FBA calculator, but we're just gonna use the Viral Launch one for now. Just go to Alibaba, right? So. Now the reason I wanna show you Alibaba is because a lot of people fear this part of the process, right? Product research is fine and fun because you're just on Amazon, but when you start sending messages to suppliers, it feels so serious, it feels so scary, right? So let's go ahead and go to Alibaba, I'll show you how easy this is. So we'll go um, Diploma Frame, right? Not that hard, uh, search that in and you're gonna see exactly the same product. So you're just gonna look for everyone that has this product and you're looking at two bucks a pop, right? So they're saying two bucks, uh, three, 380, 270, 250. And again, one thing you wanna do is make sure you're looking at the Empire or the Grand Slam screen, what I call the Grand Slam screen, right? It's part of my system. Again, if you wanna get the, the, the free book below, go ahead and get that, you can get that detailed for you. But the Grand Slam screen is essentially seeing where you can differentiate. So look at which products are doing well here. Um, if we're really to actually dig into this, which ones are doing well? So you see this one with like the picture and the tassel holder. I guess we saw that here with Alibaba, we got the picture uh, and the tassel holder, that's the same exact product, right? That is that product. So is this the one that does the best, right? Which one really does the best and where can you make a difference, right? Where can you make it a grand slam where you can stand out and, and differentiate? It doesn't have to always be crazy, but I just wanted to mention that. So what you're gonna do when you're on Alibaba is just go ahead and the cool thing that you can do, you don't have to always send a super detailed script. Now I do offer a supplier script, uh, but it doesn't always have to be that way. Sometimes when you just wanna to touch base, you can just use this chat box, right? So go ahead and click the chat now. It's just like Facebook Messenger. So when you're in here, this is gonna auto-populate. You send it off so they know exactly what product you're talking about and just be like, hi, thanks. Fix the typo and press Control A, copy, Control C, copy. Send that off, okay? Super simple. So now they're gonna get back to me when they have a free moment, and we're just gonna bomb through here, click the chat on every single one, send the baby off, control V to paste, and just rip through it, right? So this is exactly how you contact suppliers. So there you go. Simple as that, they already got back to me, right? Dear, what can I do for you? Um, please send me a quote for 500 units. That's already one supplier down. It's not this crazy, uh, you know, level of freaking um, professionality that you have to, to to put off. Just just make it simple, right? Make it simple because guess what, guys? Done is better than perfect. A lot of people put so much effort in typing this super crazy long ass letter to these suppliers. And the thing you got to realize about suppliers is that they get a like a, a thousand people a day just like 
tire kickers looking at their products and asking for quotes and, and asking this and asking that. And they think, in the supplier's mindset, right? You gotta put yourself in the shoes of the supplier. They are thinking that you are probably not gonna place an order. You are probably someone that's a tire kicker, 90% of the conversation they have and in nothing. So when you're sending out these long uh, form messages and asking like bullet point questions, asking 10 questions about their product, What's their incentive to get back to you when they think you're a small timer, when they, they have no relationship with you, you've built no relationship with them, you've made no effort to do that, you've just come up and tried to approach them like you're this big corporation um, and it's, it's off-putting to them because why are they gonna waste your time answering all your questions when they answer a million questions a day that never lead to an order? So just go ahead, reach out to them, make it simple, get it done because at the end of the day, progress is progress. It's not about being perfect, it's about reaching out and, and seeing what you can do because really, we're not really really, again, we are tire kickers right now, right? So don't try to waste their time. Don't waste your time, more importantly. Just be a tire kicker. Try to get a quote. See if this product's gonna work for you. See if this product's gonna work in your budget. Because right now, we're just trying to see the pricing so we can put it into the calculator, see if they can quote us on shipping so we can put that into the calculator and get a more accurate calculator cost, right? So again, we're just gonna keep on going through here and just bombing through, no big deal, send it off, and just go on with your day. Because a lot of people get stuck in product research because of you know, analysis paralysis, getting afraid of, of doing the dirty work. All right, so we got, this guy got back to me, right? Hi, glad to get your message. Do you have Skype, WeChat, or WhatsApp um, for chatting? So there you go, right off the bat, we're making a contact. Next guy, got back to me, your email, asking for an email. So we're advancing the conversation, right? This one, another one got back to me. Hi, thanks for your inquiry, and I'm asking for a quote. So this is how you get the conversation started, guys. That's simple as that, and I want to show you that because I know it's, that will break a barrier for a lot of you because a lot of people get stuck, right? They're like, oh my gosh, it looks so cool. Um, now what do I do, right? Now I go to Alibaba, what do I say? How do I make contact? How do I, how do I, this? How do that? Just boom, get it done, and that's that. So that is exactly how you are gonna steal products from Amazon themselves, go against the grain because those that go against the grain, those that color outside the lines are the ones that color the world. So be one of those people. Don't be afraid to go against conventional wisdom. When everyone else is running away from Amazon basics, you run right into the fire and take the gold from them. So again, if you want more product research methods just like this, and if you wanna learn about how to brand and how to launch your products, I got the three books available to you. That's usually a $90 value, $30 each, but again, totally free right now and when you get those books you have a chance to enter my four-day Amazon FBA boot camp where I will kick your butt into shape to be able to launch a successful Amazon uh, brand within the next four days when that boot camp begins and if you don't want any of that just go ahead and click right over there to watch another product research video or click my face right in the middle to become an empire builder an empire builder is every single one of you that grinds day in and day out but most importantly you never give up because you know that your empire awaits i'm jt franco and i'll see you in the next one I